Welcome to another vid and welcome to my desktop. In my last video I kind of fast forwarded time and I just thought I'd share how I did that just in oops and putting things just in case people don't know because it does come in handy. So first quite easy you need to go to your documents my documents as it's called but not mine you can't get to mine hopefully so usually you've got a shortcut here documents Ooh, hang on sorry I meant to start um, there we go start that again so yeah usually you've got a shortcut on your start menu or if not just go to computer then usually on your left hand side documents if not you can always go to your C drive users whatever your profile is called on your computer and now I'm lost my documents but you're trying to find basically your save for Euro truck so then open that scroll down to the bottom now the file we're looking for is this one config.cfg right, if you're with me so far you need to then open that with a text editor of some kind notepad wordpad I use notepad plus just because it's free and better than normal standard wordpad now let me try and get everything so you can see we're looking for these two lines you set G developer 0 and you set G console 0 now I've had a look earlier and we need on mine anyway line 72 G developer 0 we just need to delete that 0 replace it with a 1 and also we need the same one for console which is on line 100 user g console 0 change that to a 1 that's it easy peasy this is very confused having two big cursors so save that close that that's you done now to activate the console this is where it's going to change for some people on your keyboard it's this button here which is exactly where it is on mine just next to number one on a laptop it's probably somewhere else and you might have to press function and then that but that's the button you're looking for now there's a few commands that I know of there's probably more but you have G underscore set time and then whatever time you want so XX example 15 would be 3 o'clock in the afternoon 20 would be 8 o'clock your next one is warp X uh, warp 1 is just normal so warp 2 the game would run twice as fast as it says there 0.8 it would run 80% now these two you can use them on their own or use them together and they I use them all the time I do now except for when I'm recording the G underscore minicon gives you a little console that shows you what the game's doing so whether it's doing a save whether it's loading a mod if it's loading a mod it'll tell you if there's any errors which is very handy so this is basically what we're going to type in but I'll show these anyway and G FPS just gives you a little counter and shows you what frames per second your game's running at which again comes in handy sometimes so let's just close that we'll jump into Euro Truck now I'll go make a cup of tea while this loads I can't remember where I left my truck, so it could be upside down in a ditch, on fire. It might be parked away safely. I really can't remember. Soon find out. I 
Is that kettle boiled yet? Ooh. Come on. Oh, forgot about you. Right. Well, I ain't got a job, so that's a good start. That probably means I've parked it up safe. Ooh. Must have been feeling responsible. So, as you can see, top left corner, there's nothing there, as it usually is. So, we press the magic button. And there we go, you get a little glimpse look of what your game's been doing. Spawned 8 vehicles, spawned 5 vehicles, 6, 4, and so on. If you press that button again to close it, everything goes, but let's just get, let's just get out. Yeah, let's get outside. see it is five to three in the afternoon but fancy driving at night I can't sleep because I've already had too many sleeps and I'm not tired when I go to a rest stop so you press your magic button and you type in G underscore set underscore time and then let's go for eight o'clock at night so 20 press enter and I've done something wrong. I've pressed that magic button too many times. Sorry. So G underscore set underscore time 20. It's now 8 o'clock at night. So. Put zero. It'll be midnight. Magic. One thing to remember, the time only goes forward. So if it's 8 o'clock at night and you'll change it to 7 o'clock, you'll lose a day. So if you're pulling a trailer and you've got a time limit, be careful. Other than that, it's quite nifty. So let's get back to daytime. One o'clock in the afternoon. Now, your next two are G underscore FPS 1 will turn it on, 0 will turn it off. So G underscore FPS 1 to turn it on. And it looks like you have to use the mini console min 1 as well, which I didn't realise, sorry. Mini con 1. And there we go, top left look. Let's get to a black bit of screen so you can probably read it. Frames per second, 13. Look at that go. Now you'll see as we drive around... By the way, pressure. Typical. But as you drove around, you'd see it. Car 13 below its horn, or whether it's loading a piece of your mod. This engine's really loud. So... Now that probably will not as loud for you, but I'm wearing headphones. That's really loud and I can't hear myself talk, so... Now... The warp one is really funny. So... Let's put it on... I don't know what it goes up to. So we'll, we'll try warp 5. So now, in theory, the game will run five times faster. Which it does. Usually. So let's have a little drive around. Pressing all wrong buttons. Now we 
should see cars just doing random daft things very quickly. Now that looks normal to me. Right, so maybe what five was a little bit a little bit too much. So warp three. It's making me out to be a liar. Unless it's because I'm recording. That's what I'm thinking. Because it's not running very quick today, this. But... It does work. I've, I've definitely, I think I did it on two and it worked. But I'm just going to put it back to normal. Beep beep. But it does work, I promise you, just have a play about with it. But anyway, that's how you get. I can't beep it back because of the ignitions now. But anyway, it's annoying me. Right, so <laughs> that's developer mode and that's how you change time. I'll put the commands in the description in the bottom. And also a link to the forum where I found it, just so you know I'm not making it up. But that's it. I hope it comes in use to somebody. Thanks for watching.